Okay, guys. This is a little dark. I got here late. This is my boat. I'm going to use this other light to kind of shine away. This is my boat. This is the bathroom. Here's all of this. Two couches. I don't know how well you can see all this. But this is my boat. I have to shovel all that snow off and all the snow off the roof and then I gotta tarp it up because I want it to be good for winter. Because spring I plan on taking this out and I want it to stay good. It's a little cold here. I'm in North Huron Marina. And I will say this, this is a beautiful piece of work. I mean, she's my baby. Uh, um, there's a little paint for some reason on the window. I'll scrape that off at some point and clean it up. Uh, thank you, Audrey, from Sailing Miss Lone Star, or Go Sailing, since I believe you've changed the name. Um, thank you, uh, Ray and Sonia. I've watched your guys' videos quite a bit. Um, Audrey, you've helped me out with advice. And I'm going to share this video to you, and this is, I guess, me kind of promoting you. Because, <laughs> trust me guys, she knows what she's talking about. Um, this is my dream, and I'm going to follow through with it. I paid $5,000 for this thing, and the only thing it really needs is bottom paint. I mean, there's a few other things I want to add to it, but to actually be a working vessel, it just needs bottom paint. That's it. Oh, and new batteries. I forgot about the batteries. But everything else works on it. Fine. And this is going to be my home. Um, this is going to help me get home, actually. Uh, I'm going to the Philippines. I'm going to be with my family there. Audrey, I was thinking about starting a marina if I do that. And you're ever in the Philippines? Same with you, Ray and Sonia. Um, great people, great sets of knowledge, by the way, both of them. Uh, they've helped me not make as many mistakes as I could have. And this is it. I mean, I don't know how much you could see. But there's a lot of snow, and I gotta shuffle it all out. And there's my wheel well. This is my nav station. I don't know how well this video is gonna be, but I'll have to take off tonight once I'm done, and I gotta tarp it and at least try to make it so that this thing works better, you know, as far as Mother Nature. Found a few spots like that vent hole where the snow does get in, <laughs> but that's nothing. And I think that could be closed. There's some type of radio system, speaker system here. I, it's quite nice. Uh, yeah, um, this is gonna be a short video. I promised everybody when I do do things with the boat that I will make somewhat of a video, and this is it. Um, white ceilings, not much, but it's a good hard top. There's no give them this at all. I think it's like some type of plastic or something, I don't know. The woodwork's not bad. I mean, and by the way, this is a Leguin, I believe if I'm pronouncing it right, 33. This is a 33 foot boat, okay? Now, there's no power to it right now. Marina knows I'm here, and so does the guy who's selling me the boat. But this is beautiful. I mean, I don't know how much you guys can see. It's pretty dark, but 
this is the best I can do. I guess this is a nighttime video. I will make more. Again, thank you, Audrey, from Sailing Miss Lone Star. Go sailing. Um, I hope things work out for you. Um, as far as Ray and Sonia, um, or Sophie, sorry, not Sonia, Sophie. Um, hey, it's, uh, if you guys get here and you want a boat buddy, I'm more than willing because I kind of need it. That's a little dirty, but I could repaint it and clean it and get rid of all that. This is my home in the near future. I'm going to be sailing it, and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, that must go down there. Nope, it doesn't go there. Where the hell does that piece go? The screen. Huh. I see it here, but I don't know what it goes to. I'm learning, <laughs> and I'm learning a lot about this boat, so, hey. This is probably my chain lockers up there. I think that's the chain locker. There's a pipe, but for some reason that goes down through there. And I think that opens up to something. I'll check that at some point in the future when it's warmer. This stuff all comes with it, I guess. Everything on the boat. I think that is this. No, that's that's a sail. That's a, another sail. Huh. I don't know what kind of sail, but figure that out in the near future. This is a video I'm making. Um, like I said, it's pretty dark. It's nighttime, and I'm doing the best I can. Uh, Audrey, honestly, between you, Ray, and Sophie, and uh, out of all the people I've been watching, and you've given me a lot of advice and i've watched ray and sophie and they give me a lot of advice i watch other people too but i don't get the best knowledge from them so the best knowledge you're going to get is from those two groups on sailing miss lone star and then the other one is ray and sophie uh look them up on youtube they're excellent for knowledge seriously um I do want to eventually put a water maker in here, put an arch back there, and um, possibly put solar panels on there, maybe a wind generator. Um, I am looking into the fact of putting a hydro uh, vane on the back because this, the way it's designed on the back, it is perfect for a hydro vane setup versus the others, and it doesn't. The hydro vane won't block the swim ladder, and I like the swim ladder. It's really. I wish I could show you more. Uh, at some point when it's lighter, maybe a little warmer, because <laughs> it's the dead of winter, I will show you this. And, and I got it right there. If you like that, I mean, it's uh, whatever you can tell me about this thing, I'm more than willing to listen. I've got overhead lights up here. I've got little lights down there. I mean, oh, I'm all ears, but it's a beautiful boat. I have very little work to put into it. Um, most of what I need me to do is the bottom paint. And I'm always looking at this thing as closely as I can find. I found more storage. I'm always finding more storage in this place. I looked through that little hole there. There's a ton of storage under there. It was deeper than I thought it was. I thought it was just a little locker area with maybe a little space for the motor, the diesel engine. Oh my God, it's huge underneath for storage in the back. Uh, but I gotta shovel all that off to get to it because the only way to get to it is through those little lockers there. Well, I think that's my propane. Tank. That's a really small propane tank. Might actually get a bigger one. It's a <laughs> Sorry, alarm clock, six thirty. Um. 
Anyways, I guess that's enough talking about it. I've done about nine minutes of just ranting on how nice this boat is and how happy I am to actually have the opportunity to purchase it. Um, little things here and there, but uh, for all in all, it's a really good boat. Five grand. But certain people I know have said that they purchased a boat for a lot less, but they had to put a lot more money into it. So I purchased a boat for five grand, and I don't have to put as much money into it. But I'm going to put a lot of money into it. I know. Everybody puts a lot of money into it, and you always find things wrong with things, with boats. Because that's what boats do. You just do that. All right. Ten minutes going by of a rant. Again, thank you, Audrey, uh, for sailing Miss Lone Star. And, again, um, thank you, Ray and Sophie. I suggest that you all watch it. It's very good people on YouTube with knowing what sailboats are. Audrey's more like me, where she's got the cheaper version. Ray and Sophie's got a more expensive and larger boat. But Ray and Sophie know what they're doing, and so does Audrey. And anybody wants to know about it, I suggest follow them. All right. Thank you very much. If you like this, please like it. Um, I'll try to do better videos in the future.